on this campus, the legends literally cement their handprints on the legacy just a few steps away from Bryant-Denny Stadium. This is the home of the Alabama Crimson Tide. Today, two teams collide in an old-fashioned SEC showdown. As we'll see, the South Carolina Gamecocks taking on the 18th-ranked team in the land, the Alabama Crimson Tide. 48 Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Palmer with me. Guys, it's time to get it going. And he takes this from inside the five. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. So the Alabama Crimson Tide offense will take the field for the first possession of this game. And as the game evolves into an aerial circus, sometimes you find a superstar running back like this guy. And when you got this guy, you ride this guy. You give him the ball, you run the football, you find ways to continue to feed him because he just gets stronger and better as the game goes on. Running back searching for a hole. Defense in the right spot. They stop him after a gain of two to the 28. Here they come, trying to convert a third and short from the 28. Back to pass, it's Milrow. Getting some heat. Trying to escape and get it himself. They make the stop, but what a job on the scramble to get loose and pick up that first down. He'll come out throwing on first down. Finds his tight end. I'll tell you, I love the play call on first down here. You're just trying to find an easy completion. And the shortest throw on the field for a quarterback is finding your biggest target, and that's the tight end. Nice job. Finds his big tight end. And it is well blocked as they pick up enough for a first down. This drive's been productive so far. Already picked up a couple of first downs. Now out close to midfield. He'll do it himself. At the 40, there he goes. And he was on his way, and they get him down at the 30. Alabama pushing the tempo. Well, this is one of the fastest quarterbacks in college football, and that's why the option's a good idea, because if he can get out in space and he gets a chance to get downfield, he is really difficult to tackle, and he's very difficult to catch, as you saw in that last play, getting a first down. This drive was clicking along, but now it's second and 14. They go to the draw. Tackled there by the defense. Eighth play on this opening drive coming up, and they need a third down conversion. From the gun, wants to pass. Buys a little time. And he scoops his way to the first down and then slides to avoid the hit. The Tide trying to pay off this red zone trip. They're threatening to score and they'll throw it. Finds his big tight end. The defense wouldn't let him loose there and it was a completion, but they lost yardage. Brings up second down. The back goes in motion. Looking for a man. It's Milrow. Got his man on the outside. Makes the catch and he's brought down. They're about to get through their entire opening script of plays. This is the 11th play of the drive. Third down coming up. From the gun. Wants to pass. The sweet feet keeping the play alive. And you've been around like this guy has. You know how valuable picking up the first down with your feet can be. He'll keep it himself. And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. After getting nothing, it's second and goal from the six. He's looking to throw. Can't make the grab as he was looking for his man right at the goal line. This defense has given up yards, but a chance to make a stop on this opening drive on third and goal. Quarterback strolling away from heat. Gets away. 
and he waltzes in for the score. Touchdown, Alabama! And that's why this offense is so hard to stop, guys. This quarterback in Hershey throwing it and running it. With his speed, he can make people look silly. And you saw it right there on the opening drive of the game. What a beautiful touchdown there. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And the PAT makes it 7-0. They held the ball for 15 plays on that touchdown drive. And he got into the house from the six to finish it. And he's coming out of the end zone. Stopped at the 26, brought it out in the end zone, picked up an extra yard. So the South Carolina Gamecocks offense will try to get something started with their first possession. Here are our impact players for this game, and it goes beyond executing an assignment to make an impact in the game. Yeah, obviously we were talking to both coaching staffs this week, and we asked them who needs to step up and play well. They immediately pointed to these guys right here. They are the key for their respective teams. Yeah, and they don't always show up in the box score, but these are the guys are the leaders. These are the guys getting everybody organized and have to play well for their team to succeed. Quarterback extends the play. And he can't find a receiver, and down he goes. Well, when the offense goes empty, that triggers the defense to want to blitz. The linebacker came that time, they couldn't get him blocked, and down goes the QB. The Gamecocks are in the hurry up. Dropping back, it's Sellers. Quarterback doing what he does best. He can move. Still running at the 40. Off he goes. And he'll finally slide after the long run. I'm not sure if he wanted to avoid the hitter. He just got tired. This guy just gives you nightmares. I mean, he's just got so much electricity. He just pulls it down and chews up yards like it's nothing. That's a quarterback. A quarterback doing that to your defense. Some misdirection with the counter. A most efficient pickup of six on first down. It's second and four. This crowd, full throat, spreading the eardrums and letting them know it's going to be a long day. One running back in the backfield, and he has it. Finds a crease at the 20. And he'll step into the end zone. Touchdown, Gamecocks. You're not going to keep the lid on this guy forever. Sooner or later, he's going to get loose. He is. He's a bad mother. Shut your mouth. I mean, this dude can make plays. That's why you keep feeding it to him, because at some point, he's going to break it loose and make a huge play. Lining up to add another. Right down the boulevard. A very efficient five-way scoring drive. And he finished things off with a 32-yard run to the house. On the move from inside is five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. The tied offense rolls onto the field. Power football with the run. Got to be smart. Patient, great vision, uses all of that to get to the 29. Good spot after that seven-yard pickup on first down. It's second and three. Back to throw, it's Milrow. Fires to the middle. Finds a tight end down the gut. And he's knocked down immediately, but not before he moves the chains. Coming out on first down with the play fake. Quarterback moving. He's going to run it. A really nice run and gain, and he gets down to avoid taking punishment. The Tide with the first and ten. Pick your poison, right? When he gets outside the pocket, man, I, I, what do I do? Do I play the pass and stay back deep, or do I come up and try to make a tackle? I'm not going to give up a big play and give up an easy pass, so it's just easy pickings for this quarterback because of his athleticism. 
Pre-snap motion in the backfield. Looking to throw on second down. Floating away. At the 35, he's open. He gets the job done, picking up the first down, then getting down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. They've softened them up with a run. Now to throw it. That's caught. It's Hale. You know, sometimes when you're throwing against zone coverage, you need time for the routes to develop. So nice job by the quarterback there, being patient, allowing his receivers to work themselves open. The give to the running back from the shotgun. They make the stop after a pickup of three just inside the red zone at the 19. Ready to fire from the pistol. We played one, and we are right back where we started, all tied up after the first period as we take a look at the stats. We've got a good one going here and looking forward to keeping those vibes going here in the second quarter. Play number seven on this drive, and it'll be third and two. And he had it for a second, but it just dribbled out of his hands. This would likely be a chip shot for the field goal kicker, but they want the touchdown instead. They'll go for it on fourth down. Runs through the tackle. Is that stiff arm even a human arm? It, it looks like some type of steel bludgeoning device on his way to a first down. To the air, it's Milrow coming after it. And the rush will get to him at the 25. How about this defense coming out aggressive on first down? They're in the red zone. They're like, no, no, no. We're going to take the fight to you. Now setting up a second down and long and putting them in a great position to be successful. This drive was rolling, and then it got thrown into reverse. Here's a second and 18. He's looking to throw. Using his legs to buy some time. On the run, and he'll slide to avoid the big hit. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. Feeling some heat. And they got him. They'll get him down for the sack. Sometimes you beat your guy and you get sacked so clean, and sometimes, like on this play, the DBs do a great job covering, make the QB hold the football, and then the rush gets home. Here comes the field goal Number unit as they'll try to take the three. He'll try to knock it through from 38 yards out. And this one splits the uprights. And guys, after the field goal, now they have the lead. We check in with Kevin Connors. What's going on, Kevin? All right, guys, a little update on what else is happening in college football this weekend. UCLA is currently ahead in this one, but unlike the days of Terry Donahue, this has not been a blowout today inside the Rose Bowl. They're up by 10 over Minnesota. Just another week of college football where we've come to expect the unexpected. Fellas? Oh, and how about that? I know Kevin and those guys will be keeping an eye on it for us. And the South Carolina offense is back on the field. There wasn't much need to throw it around on that last drive for the touchdown, Jesse. They got it done running the ball. And David, I don't think you have to overthink this thing. If they can't stop you running it, why would you stop handing it off? Just keep at it here on this drive. Well, and if I'm the defense, I'm making some changes. I'm bringing in more big bodies. I'm playing more aggressive towards the line of scrimmage. I am not going to let them have that kind of drive again. Looking downfield, it's Sellers. Buys a little time. Keeps it and gets past the chains. Nifty little scamper on this one. Enough for the first down, and he slides in safely. Nice job, nice way to end that play for the QB. He does a really good job scrambling, getting the first down, and getting down. Because defensively, I'm trying to get a lick. Anytime I can hit the quarterback, that is a win. Incomplete thanks to the great defensive pressure there that sort of threw them out of rhythm. Let's see what they've got on second down. They go to the ground. They make the stop, but there is a flag on the field. We'll see what that's all about. 
Hold it, hold it, hold it. Open, open. They say you could call holding on every play. Well, they did on that one. Quarterback will audible. They'll go to the toss. And maybe they want to try somewhere else because there is nothing doing in the middle of this defense. I'm not positive, but that first down marker might be in the next county. They're trying to get to it. He'll pull it down and run. He turns this into a nice game and gets down to avoid the hit. And the Gamecocks will punt it away on fourth down. This will be their first punt of the afternoon. A fairly short distance here toward the sidelines. Not his best work. First down here for the offense. He's going to pass. Finds his man. It's Paul. And he'll run across the sidelines after the good game. This offense has a second down play. The give to the back. And he's knocked down, but not before moving the chains. They'll have it at the 49, just across midfield, first and 10. Leaves it with the back. Brought down at the 39 after a pickup of 10. It'll be a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Might as well give it to him again. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. After picking up a couple at second and eight. Caught behind the line. It's the ball. At the 20, he's got space. Run out of bounds just before he could get it into the end zone. And now they're set up first and goal. I know it's early in the game, but defensively after that play, you know you have to tackle the catch. When this guy gets the ball in his hands, he is so dangerous after the fact. So it's okay for him to make catches. You just got to get him to the ground quickly. He was open, he had it, and he dropped it. Would have been a touchdown. Instead, it's second down. Looking to pass. It's Milrow. Pocket starts to collapse. And he's sprinting. He'll take it all the way. Touchdown, Crimson Tide. And the offense continues to run the football. The second rushing touchdown from the running back. The offensive line paving holes continue to feed this man the ball. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. So the touchdown drive goes 63 yards. And he got into the house from the six to finish it. Here he comes from inside his own five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. South Carolina ready to go on the attack in another offensive odyssey. The deficit here is just 10 points, David, so a chance to answer here. Plenty of time left in this football game. No need to panic. This offense just has to put a couple drives together. And listen, the defense will get this back and get some stops following and get you the football back. And I think, I think here too, David, you have an opportunity to keep the pressure on the opponent. Yeah, they just went down and scored, but you score here, and this game's still tight. You keep their feet to the fire, so an opportunity here to keep applying that pressure. Going to try to get it himself. Picks up the first down and gets down to avoid contact. The Gamecocks want to move quickly. This quarterback doing a lot of good decision-making on that last play. First off, nice job extending, but then understanding what the coverage was. And that pressure just engulfed him. A sack for this defense. When you see these Alabama linebackers demolish quarterbacks and wreck things in the backfield, you have to think of Derek Thomas in that 27 sack season in 1988. Seven. That's insane to have that many sacks in a season, especially when they didn't throw the ball that much. But finding ways to get after quarterback. You've seen Alabama guys, they're built different, they're recruited differently, and they have a lot of success, and they get after quarterbacks.
Picked up a useful five-yard chunk after the 30-yard line. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. He's looking downfield to throw. Trying to make magic on the scramble. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. And the Gamecocks decide to punt it away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. And the ball comes to rest right there. Here comes that Alabama offense. How about the way they attacked the last time they had the ball, mixing run and pass and winding up in the end zone, Jesse? That's why recruiting is so important. They've got weapons at every skill position on the field. Any of these guys is dangerous if they touch the football. Let's see what they do on this drive, David. And so, Palmer, I gotta take away something. I can't let them have everything and have success. I gotta be aggressive against the run or play for the pass. I can't give them everything. And the runner is down, and so is the flag. Hey, hold it, hold it, hold it. Holding penalties, the ultimate drive killer. We'll see if it costs this offense here. We've reached the two-minute warning, and they will try to build on what has already been a dominant first-half performance. Makes the catch. It's Williams. He knew exactly where he wanted to go with that one, and they've got enough for the first down. You've got to give the old line a lot of credit there because it gave the receiver time to work all the way across the field on the drag route against zone coverage. Quarterback gets it to him. He's able to turn it up and get a first down. On first down from their own 22. Wants to throw. It's Milrow. He unleashes a long one. He's got it downfield for a huge game. And he was loose and not stopped until he gets to the 47-yard line. The Crimson Tide comes to the line with the first and 10. He's looking to throw it. Fires to the right. It's complete. A huge gain on that one before he ran out of bounds, and he has the first down. Great call by the offensive coordinator. He saw an opportunity to take a shot, to dial up one of these types of plays, and beautiful execution by the QB and receiver, and now they're set up in the red zone. He's got it on the run. They'll get it down to the eight-yard line on that throw and catch, and the defense is backed up against the wall. Second down. On second down, wants to throw it. Trying to get to him. And he sprints to the end zone. Touchdown time! No midseason concentration laps here in week seven as they push out that lead. And he's in for his third rushing touchdown. You college fantasy football players, that is what you want to see. Plus six, plus six, plus six. Let's go. They'll try to add another to their lead. And with the extra point, they now have a three-possession lead at 17. So they got the touchdown, and as they kick off, really important for the defense to shut them down here. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. And the South Carolina offense is back on the field. So late in the half, this is really an opportunity, David, maybe to swing the momentum in their favor. Dang right. There's no time to be concerned. If we're a little bit down, listen, I just think this is a point with the offense that they can prove. Like, we're here, we're going to create something now that we can build on in the second half. Coach said all week he wanted to be aggressive. This is a great opportunity to show that right now. At the end of the first half, try and generate some momentum, score some points before going into halftime. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. He'll pull it down. At the 35, he's got room. And a nice pickup on the run and gets down to avoid contact. Just a few seconds remaining here as they try to put something up before halftime. Moving out of the pocket. And he avoids the hit and slides after the short game. 
We've got a timeout in the waning seconds of the half. Maybe a chance to get off a couple more plays. And here on second down, they'll send out the field goal unit to try to get three before the break. Good right down the boulevard. How great is it to know that if you can get the ball down somewhere close to the 40-yard line on your opponent's side of the field, you're walking away with at least three points because this dude is automatic. So they get the late field goal right before the half and not much time after this kickoff for an answer. On the run from inside his own five. Coverage team dare to make the stop. They avoid disaster and that's the end of the first half. First half in the books. Time now to join Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Fellas, you've been calling a great one today from there in Tuscaloosa. And you know, in a day where the spread option and air raid are the offenses of choice, how nice is it to see the three yards and a cloud of dust approach? Although we've also seen some runs go for a lot longer. Physical offensive lines coupled with great backs is like a throwback to the olden days, and that's refreshing. And with that said, let's send it back to the guys at Bryant-Denny Stadium. Ready to start the second half. Alabama will kick it off. He'll start the return inside his spot. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. South Carolina ready to go on the attack in another offensive odyssey. Quarterback touch pass on the jet sweep. Now we'll get a chance to see if they can end. Oh, look out. There he goes. And he was loose and out the gate and doesn't go down until he gets to the 48-yard line. Wants to throw on first down off the play fake. Looking for a big play. And incomplete on the deep ball. After the misfire, now on second down. Receivers telling the quarterback what they see. Toss sweep to the right. Really good pickup on second down there. Leaves him with third and two. The Gamecocks want to crank the tempo. Quarterback on the keeper. Across the 25, he's got room. He'll come through on third downs. He's got enough, and they'll mark it at the 23. There's an example of the offense taking advantage of all the attention the defense is giving this outstanding running back. Remember, he's one of the best in the game. They're expecting him to get the football. So the quarterback says, you know what? I'll just keep it. No one's keying on me. I'm going to get up field and find an explosive play. Off the play fake. Caught in the backfield. It's Simon. And that corner came in hot despite knowing that he was giving up some size. He'll pull it on the read. And the Gamecocks get enough for the first down. It is getting loud as this crowd tries to help its defense. Looking for a physical attack from the gun. Works his way down to the 10-yard line after a pickup of three. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. They get him on the ground at the three-yard line, but this defense is taking some punches. They'd love to pick up this third down and get a fresh set with first and goal. Fires into the end zone. And he's got it! Touchdown, South Carolina! Man, diving catches always look sweet, but they look even sweeter when it's for a touchdown. That's shades of Desmond Howard back in the day winning a Heisman Trophy and making catches against Notre Dame. That was unbelievable. The AT unit on the field. 
And the extra point is good as they close to within a touchdown, 24-17. Let's go to the studio now and check in with Kevin Connors. Kevin, what do you got? Boys, if it's happening in college football, we've got eyes on it. Check this out. UCLA is on top, but it's not like Troy Aikman or Gary Beaman are playing quarterback today, which is why they can't pull away. They're up by 10 over Minnesota. We've got our eye on things here and everything else going on right now. And any updates, you'll see them here, guys. Thanks for the update on that one. Kevin, let us know when it goes final. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. To the air. It's Milrow. Fires to the big fella. Ripping off a pretty good chunk of yardage. They've got it out to the 41 with the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. They'll leave it with him. You'll take four yards on first down every time, second and six. He's looking to throw. Fires to the right. And that's going to be incomplete. A lot of contact on the play, but no flags. It'll be third down. From the gun, wants to pass. Quarterback adapting. He'll try to do it himself. And he scoops his way to the first down and then slides to avoid the hit. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. On the run, it's Young. And I think they'll give him two on that one. Second and eight coming up. Tried to pound it on first down. Now back to the line. They'll run it out of the shotgun. A solid pickup there before the defense is able to make the stop. They've been able to control the ball. This is the seventh play of the drive. It's third and three. Looking to throw for it. They're bringing heat. Trying to make magic with his feet. He gets the job done, picking up the first down, then getting down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. When they've got him looking run, now to pass. Receiver wasn't ready for the throw, incomplete. And this will be the ninth play of the drive. They'll throw again after the incompletion. Finds his man. It's Young. They get him down after he makes the catch. Ball spotted at the 27. They're facing a third and long to try to keep their hopes of a touchdown alive. From the gun. Wants to pass. Steps away. He's going to take off. Keep. Got some room in under the goal line. And he'll race it to the house. Touchdown, Bama! Have yourself a day, young fella. You know why they handed him the ball a lot? Because he did that. That's his fourth trip to pay dirt. This dude has shown you a little bit of everything. What a great back. And four touchdowns on the day. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. So it's a 77-yard touchdown drive, and he capped it off with a 27-yard touchdown run. And no chance at a return. Here they'll start this drive at their own 25. And the South Carolina offense is back on the field. This is when the pressure can ramp up a little bit on an offense, David, when they start feeling the heat to answer a score. And I think being down 14, you can kind of feel that way. But, dude, if you put a good drive together, this is a seven-point game, so Paula, no need to pay. I was just going to say, David, I mean, this thing can flip quick. You go down, score, all of a sudden your defense gets a stop, or who knows, better yet, gets a turnover. This game is entirely different. The Gamecocks racing to the line in the hurry-up. Yeah, and how about this offense? A little counter, a little misdirection. Get everybody's eyes going one direction. They go back the other way. Nice execution by the offense to make the big running play down the field. Escapes the sack. Trying to escape and get it himself. Got to protect the merchandise. Gets down without taking a hit.
They'll try the run. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. And this offense just can't afford not to get the first down here. Already trailing big, and the clock is not their friend. Dropping back, it's Sellers. And the defense will corral the quarterback, and down he goes at midfield. That is a gut punch if you're the offense because they're in dime personnel. They're only rushing four guys. You've got five offensive linemen. You've got the option of bringing other people in to help give your QB time. And this offense, not good enough. And the Gamecocks will send out the punt unit. He'll try to really get into this one. A fairly short distance here toward the sidelines. Not his best work. The tied offense rolls onto the field. This offense has really been clicking in the game so far, Jesse. No doubt. Everything their play caller is dialing up, these guys offensively have been able to go out and execute. Yeah, and it's just maintaining the lead. Keep doing what you've been doing. you got a big lead. Let's just keep piling it on until they find an answer. Rumbles ahead for a pickup of five to the 29. Ball spotted at the 29. Here they come on third and short. They'll try to run for it. He'll move it up to the 37-yard line, and it'll be a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. They're going to go right back to him on first down. Now on second down. He's looking to throw. They'll run the screen. They make the stop after the catch and still some work to do to pick up that first down. And they got the completion, but still looking at a third down. To the ground to try to move the chains. They'll get it to the 48. No need to measure. It's a first down. They've already moved the chains a couple of times on this drive. Now out close to midfield. Going to run it. It's Haynes. Not much working there. It'll be second and nine. So Alabama takes the lead into the quarter break. And as we switch ends of the field, let's take a quick look at the national rankings. One more quarter to play, and it might be unlikely, but hey, it's college football. Comebacks happen. Offense about to reel off its seventh play of the drive. Looking downfield, it's Milrow. Quickly out on the screen to the wide receiver. And that is a nifty bit of navigation to get through that traffic and get the first down. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. We'll give him a couple on that with second and eight coming up. Stuck with a running game on first down. Now here they come again. Off the bootleg, wants to throw it. Starting to feel a little pressure. Open space at the 25. Nifty little scamper on this one. Enough for the first down, and he slides in safely. Use the play fake, now to throw. Unleashes one deep. He's got it in the end zone! Touchdown, Alabama! They're now in really good shape to get back into the win column as they extend the lead here late. And this offense continuing to put up points. This game's out of reach. You know you're going to win, but still throwing the football, still finding that connection. I imagine there'll be some salty handshakes at the end of this game. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point splits the uprights, and they're up a full three touchdowns. A 21-point cushion in the fourth. The kickoff team out there getting set. And he takes this from inside the five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. South Carolina ready to go on the attack in another offensive odyssey. Hit hard just as he released it on first down and just couldn't get it to the receiver. And here comes the offense on second down. 
He's looking to throw. Grabbed over the middle. It's Simon. And defensively, this is exactly what you want, right? You've got the big lead, so you can play big zone coverages. Just keep the ball in front of you. Keep your eye on the quarterback. Rally to the football. Gang tackle. You're going to win this game. The Gamecocks have a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Comes out throwing on first down. The sweet feet buy a little time. At the 45 on his way. And the Gamecocks headed quickly to the line. Man, that's so frustrating. It happens so fast. He just pulls it down. It looks like pass. He pulls it down and he's gone. Just like that, chewing up yards. So much speed, so hard to stop. Going to the running game. That play just never had a chance. They knock him down for a loss of five. He'll try to overcome that last play on second and 15. Got it in the middle. It's Simon. They make the stop, but not before he takes a chunk out of what they need to move the sticks. The line to gain here is the 43-yard line, and it's third down. From the gun, wants to pass. He tosses one high and deep down the left side. And that one's incomplete. They weren't just trying to move the chains. They were trying to move the scoreboard. Instead, it's fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. Buys a little time with his feet. Got all he needed for the first down, and then he gets down on the slide. The Gamecocks come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Yeah, I think you're just seeing the experience this guy has, right? He's so poised that initially he's flushed out of the pocket, nothing's open, and he doesn't panic. He's not throwing it away. He's not sliding early. He just knows where the defense isn't, and he's able to attack that space with his speed and get a positive play. Back to pass. It's Sellers. Quarterback moving out of the pocket. He's going to run it. Picks up the first down and gets down to avoid contact. Defense has to be frustrated. The offense keeps matriculating and matriculating and matriculating the ball down the field. They'll throw it on first down. Quarterback on the move, still looking. Good run on the play, and he slides to avoid the hit. Inside the 15, first and 10 from the 14. From the red zone, he's going to throw it. He's got it and still on his feet. They stop him just a link or two short of the first. And man, what they can do on second down here. Out of the gun. The inside handoff looking for a crease. He'll be stopped just short of the end zone, but they'll have it first and goal. Trying to punch it in. And he takes it to the house. Punch. Wow, this offense, they have a lot of faith in this running back. Knowing if they get down into this area of the field, he can get it done and he can answer the bell. Two rushing touchdowns already for this offense. Getting set for the point after. Blitz the uprights. And for a quick update, let's go to Kevin Connors in the studio. Boys, if it's happening in college football, we've got eyes on it. Check this out. Rutgers is currently ahead in this one. The folks in Piscataway have been in a frenzy all week. But they're in the birthplace of college football. This one is close. They're up by just two over Wisconsin. We'll circle back if anything changes in this exciting college football matchup. And how about that one? Kevin will be keeping an eye on everything going on elsewhere. He is a field-flipping machine. Take it on one end, return it to the other. And now you get to celebrate. What a beautiful job. We always talk about defense. We always talk about offense. But, man, when your special teams come through for you and score... It is huge, and it provides such a boost for the crowd. Ready to try the point after. And the extra point splits the uprights, and they're up a full three touchdowns. A 21-point cushion in the fourth. 
They're lining up for the kickoff, and let's see if this return team can answer with a score of its own. On the move from inside is five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. And the South Carolina offense is back on the field. Grabbed in the middle, it's Simon. And he might be known for one pitch, but that was a sure and heavy tackle on the tight end. Well, here's the problem offensively. Because you're trailing by so much so late in the game, the defense now is going to be playing big zone coverages, and they're going to allow you to throw the ball underneath in the middle of the field. Trying to buy a little time, and he cannot, but he does get it back closer to the line of scrimmage. And the big defensive tackle getting off the rock. Nice job seeing play action, understand his pass, beats the guard, gets to the quarterback, and gets the QB on the ground. And the Gamecocks want to pick up the tempo. On third and long, trying to have a big completion here. Looking to scramble. He'll pull it down and run. And the defense knew exactly where that first down line was, and they stopped him short. Down by multiple possessions. They can't come up empty on this drive in the fourth quarter. They'll go for it on fourth down. Going to try to get it himself. They finally get him on the ground, but not before he rips off enough for a first down. And this set of downs gets started from the 33, first and 10. Here's the handoff. Able to scrounge three yards out of that one somehow in second and seven. Got a little work done on first down, now back to the line. Now he's looking to throw it. Grab behind the line. It's Sanders. The defense wouldn't let him loose, and even though it's a completion, they lost yardage. Trying to move the sticks on third down through the air. Fires one high and deep. It's complete. A huge pickup. And they'll do more than move the chains. They'll move that thing more than 30 yards down the field before he's finally stopped. Well, I'll give this offense some credit because they've got a lot of fight. There is no quit in them. And they're obviously trailing by a big amount in this game. They haven't had a lot of success. But they're still taking shots. And their players are still out there competing. Gets it out quickly. And a good job of coverage by that defense. Just a short pickup. Now facing a third and long. Looking to throw, it's Sellers. Moves away as he feels pressure. Trying to make magic on the scramble. They make the stop of this running game. Moves to change as they get the first down. The Gamecocks come to the line with a new set of downs. Give to the back. Hold down after a pickup of five. A statement run in the red zone to the 13. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. The handoff as they run the counter play here. He'll be brought down at the five-yard line, and this defense is on its heels. And the Gamecocks will try to put one on the board on first and goal. They'll go to the air. Got away from trouble and got rid of it. It's really hard to win football games when you're one-dimensional offensively, and that's the case. They just have not been able to get anything going, throwing it deep down in the field. They haven't won their one-on-one -on -one matchups. Quarterback has missed some throws, and as a result, in the fourth quarter, they barely have 100 yards passing, and that's why they're losing. Wants to fire it in the end zone on third and goal. The freshman able to get home with the sack. A fourth quarter field goal down by this much adds a lot like putting a lipstick on the proverbial pig. Doesn't do much to change the looks. Got to score the touchdown on fourth and goal. Complete out of the backfield. And the defense makes the stand. Never got close to the goal line, and they'll turn it over on downs. Touch pass on the jet sweep. Afterburner's coming. And they'll get it to the 39-yard line, and they'll move the chains. 
This defense really needs to be careful. They have to play with great eye discipline, understanding where the football is at all times. Moving forward, they have got to know if this guy has the ball, because he is dangerous in space. They'll keep it on the ground, trying to milk the clock. And he was able to run through one tackle, but still only a modest gain. We've reached the two-minute warning, and this offense will be quite content just to drain the rest of the time away. From the gun, running back gets to give. And the first guy couldn't get him, but the second one does, but not until he picks up the first down. Now a first down from the 45-yard line. Give to the running back. And that's a very productive first down play and bringing up second and three. Using his legs, it's Haynes. And they'll wrestle him to the ground after a short game. Coming to the line of scrimmage on third down. Well, after back-to-back -back losses, this team is really teetering on the edge of disaster. They got to try to hold on to the positives, as hard as that is to do right now, having lost a couple back-to-back, -back, because this team has good players, and they've got good schemes on both sides of the ball, just things have not gone their way. They just need to make a few more plays to turn this thing. Yeah, and then they can do it, and they will do it. Listen, you, you got to get the players right. You got to get those guys in there believing. Uh, this is part of what happens. You got to take a few lumps sometimes, take those losses. But this team's going to figure it out. You can tell they got the right stuff. And that's going to do it for us from here for Jesse Palmer, David Pollock. I'm Reese Davis, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.